And we continue here on my, <laughs> my legacy save game. Day 385. Um, I, I beat the game, kind of, no? Um, so, like, I think I think I did it twice. Uh, conquering the, the brigade's headquarters. There are still some quests open and stuff to do with this. So, um... I was like, I don't know, what can I do in the game, right? And, and I decided to, um, I take the city with the with the huge, uh, with the biggest area. In this case, it's Black Ridge Pool. And I decided, I'm, I'm gonna populate this village. I'm gonna put down a house everywhere I can. And I'm not nearly halfway done, and it's so tedious and so much work. But I will finish it. I will finish it. <laughs> I hope. Uh, one day, yeah, but, but but for for the changes, um, oh my god, the, the graphic, yeah, uh, the performance got a got an incredible boost. It runs so smooth now. I'm I'm still at a very low. Um, I could make it a little bit more pretty, maybe. <laughs> um, so um, so many changes where to start. We could go into the option menu and look look uh, what changed here. Or should we, should we go? I mean, a lot of plot, a lot of stuff changed in the background here. Could, maybe we could go back to high. <laughs> maybe not the upscaling. Oh, well, well, we try, we try. Let, let's see how it will perform on high. <laughs> Looks a bit better, no? <laughs> Not sure how it how it looks through the steam, so. But uh, it's a bit better, and the performance is the same. So a very notable notable change is um the the lengths of all melee weapon got uh, got extended. So uh, everyone got longer weapons. Super nice for the fight. Um, the the enemy shouldn't cluster you and and face hug you anymore. Uh, not not that bad as before because they have longer weapons, right? So they can stay a little bit further away. And also, the, the two and sword is so long now; it's crazy. So many changes. Yeah, but we, we keep we, we keep uh, looking at the changes here in the in the menu. What can we do? There was wait wait yeah yeah you have a lot of lot of uh, game difficulty options now like from um i disabled all the raids for for the moment i think multiple threats so you can you can have multiple attacks at once so you can um you can make it easier and harder for you oh, look at that you can you can change the food spoilage speed the hunger speed of your people oh, the, the durability the skill learning and you can uh, some of them you can slide up and down like uh we could do we could do range damage only doing 25. That's like for, for a melee for a melee let's play get a playthrough. <laughs> we keep it at 100 for now. Yeah, you can also toggle the, the requirements for skilled and armor. Oh yeah, this is toggled off for for old save games automatically. Otherwise, I had it in a in a prior uh, version where I tried to save where all my companions uh, dropped their armor on the ground because they they didn't have the the requirements anymore. It was a mess, but but fortunately it got fixed really, and now you got the yeah it's fine. But yeah, a lot of options. You you can make it harder for your next uh, playthrough. Also the Pregen Strange. Oh man, I have to try uh, on impossible at some point. Yeah, I think we, we covered pretty much everything here. Skill learning speed also very nice. 
Yeah, I think the, 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 a lot of voices got reworked, uh, I feel like. Uh, felt like when I, when I walked through the city. And... Uh, oh, uh, there, was a, there was a super huge change. Um, you got a block assist now. Means you only have to press the block button and the game will... Uh, Will help you with the with the direction you have to block. I disabled it. <laughs> I need to I need to keep in shape for for last races. I need the melee training, <laughs> and I and I like it though. I haven't tested it though, but it, I'm I'm sure it helps a lot of people that that struggle a bit with the with the melee combat the initial one. Very nice. Very nice. I'm not sure if something changed here on the command thingy. Okay, that's for the option. So, um, uh, block assist. Now, if you if you need it, like you can enable it under a lot of difficult settings. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have so many more changes. Where do we look? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, look, look at that. We have now this this little green man here showing us where the entrance is for the buildings. That's so good. No, no more guessing if you put down a storage. You know, the first time you placed on a warehouse, I bet you have you had the wrong side for the entrance. <laughs> but now you you know, good changes. Okay, <laughs> next. Oh yeah, I think we, we don't have to run around naked anymore. <laughs> there was a change to armor, so it doesn't slow you down anymore. Or, or not too much. I haven't looked into it, it's gonna be beer with me. <laughs> Take a look. Do we do it up here? Oh, yeah, we could go here. Yeah, ar army management. There, there were a lot of things to... Oh, look at that. If you go to the staging ground, you can you can put gear presets in. Okay, we got each of our West Post citizens here. Very nice. Oh yeah, and and you can, you can uh, nickname your uh, your citizens. Finally, you can give them name, names, and and you can distinguish them. That's so good. And look at that. You you got um you got two categories. You can give them worker clothing. Ah, there's even more. Nice. Vanguard marksman. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So we have uh, four, four, four presets. Cool. <laughs> so I, uh, I have to click it. Was that? That was the villager, right? Yeah. Oh, and you can tell them to equip bags. Oh my god. It's so good. <laughs> okay, okay, let, let, let me figure this out. It's not... Uh... And click anything here. Do I have to create a new one? No. I think that that's already a slot now. But for, for villager closing. Uh, the footman? Yeah, a shield. Uh, oh, look at that. You, oh, you can tell them what type of armor they take and then you get a priority for it. Oh my god. That, that's, that's good. They made it. <laughs> they found a system to equip everyone individually. Very nice. 
Uh, it's just a preset here. Axman. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. Highlander. No head slot, naked, uh, naked body, <laughs> just um, um, a gloss trousers and a tool. So that's the loadout. <laughs> and so I can sell them individually what weapons they will pick. That's great. No pitchfork, <laughs> no sledgehammer, no eggs, only softs. Hmm, I would say fine long sword over the claymore. Usually, or the clench, or the. Ah, it's fine that way. <laughs> Wait, uh, next lot. Oh, is fine. No boots? Hmm. Maybe medium boots. That's that's, that's the thing. Next, that will happen there. Nice. So who's the who's the two hand guy here? I think it, it was Luca, no? I was the, li the Lionels. <laughs> uh, five and six and two handed. Not too good. Not too good. Keep it for now. Oh my god, that, that, oh, that's such a good change. Oh man. Hello, 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 grüß dich. Hast du das neue Update schon angeschaut? Ich bin, bin gerade reingekommen. Das ist super toll. So viele Sachen. Okay, so I have to set all of them to village. Uh no? Look at the cat. Damn it. 
but the, 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 I think some worker we have to set for for hunting. No, they need armor. How did they solve that one? Curious. Ah, that's the main city. Uh, let let's put them all into villager. I think right now they they run around naked. <laughs> click 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 click. News from the kingdom. There's always something. Uh, I think I, I, I kept some of the basic clothing, so they should find something. Noch nicht? Ich kann dir zusehen. Ja, das stimmt, das stimmt. Mm. Oh, let, let's test. How is it? With armor and uh, for the movement speed. It's not too bad, no? I feel like I'm I'm not not very slow. It's good. Does it say it's still minus speed? But it's it, I don't know. It feels different. I don't feel so slow anymore. Cool, that's playable. Nice, nice. I do love the graphic and the, and the style, medieval stuff, man in armor, it's, it's so good, <laughs> love it. Okay, so uh, more testing, I want to see more new stuff, there, there should be a lot more stuff I haven't covered and seen. Happy days, all thanks to you. Let's see, I think I have to recruit them at least. Right, right, wait, wait, wait. <coughs> Settlement, grinding, call to arms. Yeah, yeah. I think I only have nine people living here in the main city. I mean, <laughs> uh, I need to recruit more, but the people are so expensive right now. <laughs> are you a part of the town here? Oh, he, he probably isn't set for, for companion mode thing. Stand right? tall and fight like hell. Uh, grinding, yeah. All worker. Oh look, and you now you can see their hometown where they're coming from. Cool. Oh. 
Okay, I got them. For honor, for glory. Now, get your vodka presets. Oh, look how fast they are now. And, uh, and they no longer clock up to one storage. They, they run to different storages. Now goes so fast. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so many good changes. Oh, I feel like I have to I have to start a new game here. But I don't want to abandon <laughs> the four other days I have to spend here. I have plans. I have big plans. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, the companion management. Y you can tell them what? Ah, yeah, they change equipment if you set the durability. Haven't used it, but it's good. But often they, they run run into battle with a shield like that, right? Like 30% it may hit, take one or two hits and then it's down. Uh -huh. They all run the footman thing. Let's show them what we're made of. In standard. It's okay. Yeah, the food slider we had before. Is it new that you see the inventory of them now? It's pretty nice. Oh shit. That's the deliver guys. They they should walk. Oh no. no. I disturbed them. <laughs> oh, that's super nice. You see the food, you see all the, the, the bags they have, you see the the stats now here. Oh that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, does it does it say what stats? <laughs> Stand tall and fight like hell. I mean, you you can get. No, no, no. Here, here is the symbol. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Got it. Oh, so oh, they were naked. So now everybody takes the, the footman. Like said. Question is now: If I say if I disband now, they should all like change the clothes back to <laughs> back to villager, right? Right. I think it doesn't matter anymore since we don't uh, unslow down anymore that, that much. We can ke let them keep their uh, <laughs> army those. No backing down now. Cool. I like the diversity. Different armor sets. You all got the same helmets though. <laughs> from the kingdom there's always something okay oh wait wait i will tell them to get the uh, three foods hey, after changing our order we have to tell them again to stock up right so they they realize Right. <laughs> move, move. For honor, for glory. Let's show them what we're made of. Oh, they probably did they take three foods. Probably. Good, good, good. And guys, you're you're dismissed. <laughs> yes, yes. Hey, look at them, they get a... Ooh, we changed our clothes symbol. Let's see in, in what storage they will dump it. Oh no. It's the one in front of us now. It was meant to be a food storage. Morning, friend. Mind the mud on the path. Happy day. Oh, so we drop weapons first? 
<laughs> my, my, oh, I have to say, my, my, my storage settings and everything in this village is all over the place. It's kind of working. It's like, you know, I fear if I touch it too much, it will all crumble and it won't work anymore. But I kind of want to clean up a lot. Or restart, maybe? No, 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 no. no. I wonder what will happen if they don't find clothing to change, if they keep their armor or if they go naked. It's kind of a long process, no? <laughs> News from the kingdom? There's always something. It's great, it's great, man. It, it's like it's like everything we asked for at the start. We get it. Super nice. Morning, friend. Mind the mud and on one the day path. there will be walls and, and buildable streets and the enemy probably siege weapons, everything. Oh, it's already so good. And I really, I really, really enjoy the Shaw remix of, um, I don't know, of, of Rimworld and, and wow. Mountain Blade, kind of. <laughs> Super nice. So long, it's so long. How about the one handed though? It's like two meters. <laughs> The performance is so nice and smooth. It's oh, it's so so much better. It's so good, man. They they did a wonderful job. But oh, look at you. Well. <laughs> oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I think that's the that's the smelter guy, you know. Are you? <laughs> Let's show them what we're made of. I forget. Think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's the smelter guy in the outpost, and he shouldn't have normal clothes in there. It's a good test object here. We give him, we give him a shirt. Oh no, he he got a shirt. Ah, he doesn't have the preset, right? He is because he's in a different town. Yeah, yeah, worker preset village. Right, right, right. Now we have to refresh him once. Yeah. Get your shirt, boy.
<laughs> Looking good, he even got the head. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, uh, I should, maybe I should read patch notes, but for now we keep exploring it and looking for stuff. <laughs> Not sure how many things changed here. Hey, yeah, looking good, Michael. of changes to the tech tree over time like um, I think a lot of low recipe got, got changed a little bit but I think there wasn't anything new right like everything is unlocked except for <laughs> right right I'm still missing the apprentice engineer no 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 <laughs> we could read the patch notes though, maybe. Scenario, hello! Das ist bestimmt. Nein, nein, ich bin nur. Ich, ja. Muss nicht immer reden, ne? So. <lacht> Vielleicht nicht das Beste für einen, für einen Streamer, aber hey, ist halt jetzt, oder? Aber manchmal, manchmal spiele ich mit Mike. <lacht> Vor allem, und heute, ja, für, für Bellreit, ich wollte halt, es gibt so viel neues Zeug zum Herzeigen, das ist schwierig ohne Mikrofon. So viele gute Sachen. Ach. Ja, ja, ein bisschen. Nee, ja, nee, nee, ich, 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 <lacht> ja doch, nee, ja, nee. Einfach mehr, mehr ein Zuhörer als ein Erzähler, würde ich mal so sagen. Ich sollte mehr, mehr Koop-Streams machen vielleicht. Ich brauche, ich brauche einen guten Sidekick. That's new, no? It tells you it's out of hunting equipment. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, no, no. Report out of hell. The one time I couldn't defend uh, the raid on my personal store and they oh, look at all the book they got. They stole all the master books and everything. I was like, oh my god, that was the biggest loss in this safe game now. I will, I will keep it to remind me to defend the stuff. <laughs> no. Da können wir dran arbeiten. Ja, ja, ich weiß ja nicht. Aber ich würde ich würd sehr gerne mal ein, ein Koop-Spiel in Bellraid aufmachen. Ich habe mir auch überlegt, vielleicht sogar, vielleicht könnte man 
es kann ja theoretisch, könnte ja jeder einem Safe Game ähm, beitreten, richtig? Also auch die, die Twitch-Zuschauer äh, zum Beispiel. Aber nur viel. Und jetzt, man könnte, <lacht> man, man könnte für Kanalpunkte oder so einführen, dass man, dass man, was weiß ich, dass sich zwei Spieler duellieren müssen und einer fliegt raus, damit ein, damit ein neuer dazukommt oder so. Quasi. <lacht> so die, die Zuschauer hier, die immer duellieren lassen und, und wer verliert, muss halt, muss das Spiel verlassen. <lacht> Weiß nicht, ob es da Interesse gäbe. Vielleicht auch ein bisschen kompliziert, aber ich finde sowas lustig. Und jeder, der neu anfängt, hat ja auch gleich irgendwie so keine, ähm, keine Punkte. Ja? Du, du müsstest ja quasi müsstest dann hasseln, dass du schnell, schnell irgendwie in der Bücher liegst und dann deine Skills hochbekommst, um das Duell dann zu gewinnen, dass, dass du im Spiel bleibst quasi. <lacht> Oh, ob das einer der Rechner schafft? Uh. Hm. Ja, so, so ungefähr halt einfach nur... Nur halt, dass, dass Leute so... Dass es ein bisschen interaktiver wird. Ich habe auch die Devs schon gefragt. Dass, ich habe gemeint, das wäre super toll, wenn wir eine, eine Twitch-Integration bekommen würden. Das, das was es ich... Äh Zuschauer irgendwie Banditen reinspawnen können oder irgendwelche Naturereignisse, so Zeug halt. Lustiges, interaktives Zeug. Was mir hilft, weniger zu reden und unterhaltsam ist ja. <lacht> Halbe Stunde für jeden, um sich aufzubauen. Ja, ist schwierig. Ist halt auch, ist halt auch immer ein Koop-Spielstand, ne? Ähm, jeder hat Zugriff auf das Geld. <lacht> also. Das Beste wird wahrscheinlich sein, du läufst sofort äh, rauf und kaufst dir die Bücher und dann äh, Duelle machen. Ja, man, man, kann ja, man kann ja jetzt seine, seine Dorfbewohner zum Duell herausfordern. Ja. Wo oh, Practice Fight. Geht nicht. Ah. Oh, vielleicht er hat keine Waffen, oder? Ja. Das ist auch ein Weg, die, ähm, die Skills von seinen äh, Dorfbewohnern hochzubekommen. Wenn man nicht immer gegen Banditen kämpfen will, kann man diese Duelle im Dorf machen. Wenn jeder geblockter Schlag oder was bringt dir ein paar Erfahrungspunkte. Wenn man ihm dann noch das gute Essen gibt, <lacht> dann bekommt er noch mehr. Der hat keine Lust, bitte Absage, der muss. <lacht> der muss. <lacht> Aber oh ja, der hatte andere Sachen zu tun, wahrscheinlich. Move, move. Also, jetzt geht's. Oh, schau. Und äh, sie laufen nicht mehr, nicht mehr einfach nur in dein Gesicht. Irgendwie. <lacht> äh, he's playing the ASCII game. Wow, wow, wow. This block is weak, then. Not sure how much uh, experience you get. Happy days. All thanks to you. Could. Can we. 310. <lacht> I think he has to land a hit. No 
back him down now. That was like uh, seven hits he got in. Wait, 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 wait. FK boots. I'm working. He got 40 experience points for it. <laughs> we just need to do it a hundred times and he gets a level up. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Der Hammer tut weh. Die ideale Waffe gegen, gegen den Topfhelm, ne? Einmal umdrehen und rein damit. Aua, aua. Okay. Okay. So, practice fight is a thing. Very good. Also to get your combat skills up. Oh ja, und, und wie ich vorher schon gesagt habe, Szenario, das wäre vielleicht auch was für dich. Guck, es gibt jetzt, <lacht> gibt jetzt hier bei Input. Oh, es gibt den Block Assistant. Muss quasi nur noch der, das Knöpfchen drücken und der, <lacht> der blockt dann in die richtige Richtung. Ich habe ja mit Absicht dich geblockt. <lacht> I want a day. Wait, wait, wait. We, we, we have to do the daily trades. I need, I need the stuff. Especially the pets, though, uh, material things. There you go. But exciting changes. Um, so happy, though. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to restart it and, and start a new game. To do all the great again. It's probably so many more changes, right? Like, uh. What did I not cover here? Maybe the. There was a, a super good change for the for the big big mining for the tier three mining things. You know, uh, um, at one point in the game, your mining nodes will run out, and you <laughs> you have to look for new ones. But, but with this building, you you have the option to they do some underground mining here. And you got uh, you see your mining capacity. They were very nice, very nice. Yeah, I think so the copper nodes here, they they, yeah, they they found them all. There were like a lot of copper nodes. <laughs> They're gone now, but but we still get copper because the underground sea. Very good, very good changes. One of the best things is the performance boost. It runs so smooth now. It's super good. Very enjoyable. If it was but it was in the, in the recent patch no like you you can do storage rules copy them over to to, to buildings and everything it's it's so hard well, we, uh, because i always play on the on the 
where previous previous branch <laughs> like pre previous branch where you see you have the, the latest 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 version this is already this is still the previous branch with new stuff or fixed stuff These are still the oh man, this is, this is the starting point of my base, right? Yeah, the first chests and everything. Hmm. Kind of want to dismantle everything and build a big storage here or something, maybe. Ah, uh, look, he, he's a hunter, but he is in common clothes. That's not good. I think I need... I need a hunter loadout? It should work. Now now he gets the, the leather leather stuff and the bow. We will never know. What was his name? Oh yeah, and look at that, for the deliveries, you now have an info text for what's happening with the stuff that you get and whatnot. Very nice, very nice. More information, it's good. I should look into my delivery at one point, but um, <laughs> no wheat in wheat shield. Oh, it, I think it was winter. Okay, wait, so I, I, will, I will quickly open the patch notes to try and, and cover everything. Oh, look what I missed. Oh yeah, um, a lot of the tier 3 buildings got a, got a rework, also the, a, l a lot of buildings where a villager got stuck, that no longer should, should be a thing. Alright, alright, so. Let's see. Notable changes. Added gear presets. We, yeah, yeah, we got that. Reworked combat skill experience. Defeating enemies grants a certain amount of XP during on their type. Which goes into strange agility and weapon skills depending on the weapon used and part of it is shared with teammates who are fighting nearby. Also, so you share co-op XP. That's cool. Rebalanced gear. Various changes to armor types and overall progression, including adjustments to their stats and speed reduction values. Now you and your NPCs also have to meet strange requirements to equip armor. You can also dis uh, <laughs> disable it. 
added the new gameplay settings. Yeah, weapon and armor skill requirements, hunger, speed, food, spoiler, speed, skill. Yeah, we, we covered that. Added a way to mitigate speed reduction from armor. Expanded strength skill with mitigate speed reduction value. Ah, okay. More strength, less uh, speed reduction. Okay, okay. Made companions run away from combat when hungry instead of switching to work. Huh? Added an ability to give villagers nicknames. Very nice, very nice. Added a displaying neutral villagers on the map. Oh yeah, on your on your mini map you see you see all the neutral villagers now. And maybe also a list so you can hire them more easy. Ah, we have to check. Added melee block assist setting enabled by default. Yeah. Significantly improved GPU related performance. Oh yes, 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 we can feel it. Very good. Very good. Added a distinction between different armor types, isn't that? Yeah. Split tier two to tier three medium and heavy armor into separate research branches. Oh well, well. Did we see that? Oh yeah, also the order got rearranged, no? Nah, it's still mixed one handed two handed. <laughs> alright, alright, further on. Uh, what do we have? Adjusted speed reduction of armor according to their type here, yeah. Adjusted armor stats according to the new tech tree positions. Made some of the gear unlocked together with buildings. Uh, they are made. That's good. Decreased the iron usage for tier 2. Slightly buffed stats of tier 2 gloves. Uh, we all pa we passed that. <laughs> Dropped some of the assets of helmets and pants to match their looks to stats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Replaced blacksmiths with weaver as a research requirement of leather reinforced gloves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Replaced tin ore with tin ingots required for a studded shirt. Uh, a lot of equipment item changes. Yeah, yeah. Added craftable clothing to weaver hut. Oh, we should look at that. Villager clothing. Weaver, weaver. Oh yeah, cool, cool. All the town folk stuff. Nice, nice. Yes, yes, that's the upgrades we need. <laughs> okay, cool. Der Ausblick ist wunderschön. Ja, ja. Extra schön den Platz gesucht, um hier die Patch Notes vorzulesen. <lacht> I mean, I lost it. The Patch Notes are so huge. It's so much to read. Oh my god. <lacht> um. Tweak the weapon size, yeah. Adjusted weapon damage value based on progression changes. Reduced cost of bronze and iron arrows. I stocked up 50 of them. Nice. <laughs> yeah, now they are cheaper. Mm -hmm. Fixed extra arrow usage when firing the last arrow from a quiver. 
A lot of fixes, that's so good. Skill progression. I'm skipping over a lot of here. But you, you can read the patch notes, you know? <laughs> Increased experience gained for melee skills from hit and blocks. Made laborer skill increase the speed of building for militias. Nice. Buffed Lubomir's hunting and other skills. <laughs> Lubomir. <laughs> Man, where is my Lubomir? Oh, I think I sent him to the iron mines in this house. <laughs> He's working. Changes for villagers. We set the movement speed debuff to minus 20% when a villager is hungry. Made villagers equip bags as separate containers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Added visible, visible settlement of origin for villagers. Yeah, that's that's super cool. I saw I see that. Fix the movement speed debuff not working. Lowered movement speed debuff of injuries from minus 50 to minus 20. Nice. <laughs> Made workers shoot their weapon when switching from companions. <laughs> Decreased waiting distance for stocking up. Improved companion stock up queue to prevent pedestrian traffic jams. Yeah, th that works nice. That was pretty cool. Looks a lot better now when they when they equip and uh, kind of wait for free storage. They no longer go in a line. <laughs> and like 10 fixes for every kind of bugs there were with villagers. Fixed bonus damage from traits not applying for NPCs. Fixed archers running away from battles when they shouldn't. Fixed companion cheating their shields in combat when receiving any new order. A lot of those fixes and stuff. Structures. Added ability to remove input items of craf if crafting hasn't started yet. Added previews of interaction points when placing a building. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that immediately. It's such a good change. Such a good change. You see it? Like, uh, wait. You need something you can place here. You get the you get the little little man in f at the en entrance at the interaction points. Now now you know where where the entrance is. Super nice, very helpful tool. Would have been there day one. <laughs> you we progress here. Edit specific messages of what blocks placement of a building. Ah. Rebalance town hall research recipe to require more advanced territory resources. Made cooking over a campfire increase cooking skill instead of crafting. <laughs> Never noticed. Fixed pit mining not working when the player is far away from the mine. Fixed players getting stuck under the mining hut's roof. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fixed constructions sometimes getting stuck when loading a safe in a way that only player can interact with them. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I noticed that. That sometimes on a, on, a, on a construction site you have to do like one work step so... And then they, they progress, otherwise they don't touch it. Mm hmm, we continue. Uh, fixed shop categories for campfire and drying rack. Mm, combat in enemies. Improved group combat AI. To better maintain formation when fighting close to each other. Prevented accidentally hitting neutral NPCs while in battle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great, that's great. It happens quite often if you... If you want to fight the brigands in the town, yeah, and, and, and some stray arrow hits the NPC and the whole town goes red and, and goes after you. <laughs> yeah. Fixed cam guards sometimes getting stuck far away. Making it impossible to clear the camp without finding them. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh yeah, I had it once in the south. Cool. Fixed patrols sometimes getting stuck in place indefinitely. Very nice. 
Fix Brigands parties getting confused and walking away from their destination if met somewhere halfway. Oh yes, yes. That's super good. I had it so often that you, you fight, uh, you fight uh, the reclamation party like midway. And, and sometimes while you like backpedaling and run away, they decide to just run away and go to the origin point of the, their pass. And you have to, you have to run oh, after them. Oh. That's no longer a thing, that's super good. Fixed battles getting stuck when villagers are hiding inside structures. Fixed raids not disabling properly if they were already planned. Fixed NPCs getting sometimes getting stuck while in combat. Nice, nice. Fixed another NPCs fighting too passively while holding position. Mm hmm. Oh god, we're not even halfway through. It's just all it's such a such a huge patch this time. It's crazy. Continue. But the user interface changes. Edit gameplay customization screen to character creation. Oh cool. Ah, so you can you you change your game presets at the start. Yeah yeah. yeah. Edit a pop-up notification when the player levels up a skill. Mm -hmm. Edit settlement names to rate and reclamation pop notification pop-ups. Nice. Very good. Edit a pop-up notification when the player recruits a new villager. Edit a list of destroyed buildings to the raid report. <laughs> Sad face. Edit notifications for one and crushed rebellions. Added volume size to pop-ups of equipable containers. Added durability bars for equipment in the squad menu. Added the word broken, the word broken to the tooltips of broken items in addition to broken icons. Very nice. Combined inventory and equipment in the stockpile management screen so it doesn't require scrolling. Unify the building renames, renaming screens when opening them from different menus. Tweak the building screen to improve usability. Added showing real time for researching. <laughs> Fix the warning when missing a smithing tool. Fix the warning when tool skill is insufficient. Fix floating damage numbers not showing for clients in co-op. Never played co-op so far. One day. We fixed the stuttering when using food or durability slider for the squad. Fixed melee and arrow piercing damages, having the same names <coughs> in tooltips and traits. Oh my god, so much to read. <laughs> uh, quest changes. I will skip over them. Good changes, definitely good changes. <laughs> Sounds. Improved army commanding voice over, over to add more uh, feedback that orders are given and received. Improved various sounds related to armor in and out of combat. Improved various taunting voices, voiceovers. Preventing other NPCs from talking when the player is already in the dialogue. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, remember, I remember that listening to the, uh, like like to a quest giver, right? And then some villager pops in and, and it's super loud and he just... Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, uh, yeah, nice, nice change. Improved sound behavior of NPC voices and animals. Tweaked sound air absorption for wolves. Like what? Tweaked sound air absorption for wolves. <laughs> okay, well, well. Howling? Air absorption. Uh, yeah. Performance and visuals. Should we skip over those? <laughs> I read a lot of fixed, 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 improved and added various drop bags for seeds. It's 
definitely super noticeable the performance uh, change runs so much better very nice um, improvement and fixes yeah whoa we have been, we have been close to the end improved unstuck feature in cases where previously it didn't work oh man yeah I remember oh, oh no the wolves are back I remember <laughs> when I fought this camp down here was it oh, was it this one somewhere here there is a castle where you can you can fall in and never get out and the the, the old respawn didn't work because there were no no road nearby I think it was around here so you were stuck there forever. Fortunately, the game got a, got a wonderful autosave function. And you can uh, recover if something broke. Good, good, good. Fix crash relating to killing a deer when it's stuck. I had that happen, yeah. <laughs> Fix some of the GPU crashes related to opening the map. Mm -hmm. Fix the first sleep in the tavern, not being free. If the player has money. Okay, that's that, that's for the town taverns, right? Rarely will sleep there, maybe in the beginning. Fixed respawn progress of animals getting reset when saving and reloading. Fixed not cheating a weapon or a shield after a quick use of both weapon slots. Aha. Ah, that's it. <laughs> that's some of the... <laughs> no, 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 yeah. Some of the notable changes for this uh, August update for Bellrad. So good. Can only recommend jumping into it again and uh, checking it out. Mm. Alright, um, uh, I think we finish here. I think we, we showed most of the stuff with the with the army presets and, and things. I didn't go into into big detail. I didn't fix it for my game here, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> we're gonna take we're gonna take a last uh, last look at Blackridge Pool at my current uh, project. It will never be finished. So here you see you see the the line of worker delivering stuff. They, um, I have to if I don't take care of them, right? I have to I have to give them food that la uh, good food that lasts very long, because like uh, they they have to walk all the way over here to Blackridge Pool to deliver the stuff. And and somewhere around here in this this area, the f the, the basic food runs out and they just uh, turn around and go back and try again the next day. So it's a, it's an endless thing if I don't. If I don't help them out a bit. But what we are up to, look at here. Look at all the houses. <laughs> I started to place them down and um just to, uh, first I thought okay we we just cover the outlines of the city. To, to see how, how much we have to build, but um It takes so long, it's so much work. I, I underestimated how, how long it will take. <laughs> Sometimes I take like uh, 20 companions, fill them up with, with, uh, with materials and then we, we come here and deliver all the stuff. <laughs> we are, are kind of halfway done here. That, that's pretty good. I think I... Uh, I have pretty much every spot for a house, but there probably can we can fit some in later once once this is finished. <laughs> I, <can, laughs> I want to see how how many villagers I can I can fit in Black Age Pool. You can see on the minimap there's already a few. No, yeah. So this was the the main uh, the part I started off. That's that's pretty pretty crowded already. There are still some spots where we can build more houses, I think. We should be able to put some in here. 
Wow, how is this? <laughs> This is my my experimental village. I, tried, <laughs> I even built the uh, the granary and the uh, and the stockpile again. Even if I don't know, I don't know who who fills it up, right? If it's my own guys or uh, some deliveries or I don't know how this stuff ends up in here. <laughs> same or same over here. Good morning, friend. Mind the mud on the path. I mean, maybe I put it in. I'm not sure, but but for sure not the water. I don't know. I'm I'm so curious. Um, it's you know if if like I, I like the, the I, I totally into the village progression. Um, getting I, I don't know. And, and it, <laughs> I'm very happy if we can upgrade the villages more in the future. And if, uh, once they, they make use out of, of, of the stuff like the rage thing here, should should passively like trade their skills for the militia, but it doesn't. Uh, the, the comment from the devs was like they, they, they want to have like live action animations, right? They, they want the villagers go here, uh, take a bow, shoot arrows, uh, put the bow away and, and keep doing their normal stuff. So it, it takes a lot of time to implement all these things. But yeah, the big house project. <laughs> we not we we are not done here. <laughs> I mean, we we could go the the whole outline here. It goes over here. <laughs> area was a little bit iffy oh no oh my oh yeah i, I like i like the textures here on the ground mm -hmm. how's that new weapon treating you yeah 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 i think this is still the outline here It's so much uh, logistic bringing all the stuff here. But one day, one day, if it's finished. And here, yeah, yeah, this is the outline of the of Black, Black Ridge Pool, the buildable area. Those houses here, and look how much how much space I got up here. I can build like 50 more houses, I think. <laughs> and and then one day we will have we will have like the, the ultimate uh, villager pool here in Blackridge Pool. We, we can uh, we we then can really really like I don't know change out of 200 400 people who we want to take in our city. <laughs> I don't know. I will keep you updated, right? One day we will finish here. It's like you know, it's in those games when when you when you finish the the main quest more or less. I'm a big fan of I don't know, just maxing something out, grinding it to do some some big stupid things. Let's see, let's see. Oh, we continue here. But thanks a lot for watching. Danke Scenario, danke Ella. Ich freue mich sehr, dass ihr vorbeigeschaut habt. I hope you had a had a nice overview of the new Bellride patch and uh, oh wait yeah, oh, I missed the follow thank you one Colel <laughs> uh, yeah I, I hope you you had a, had a kind of a little overview of the new patch um, oh. definitely worth to take another look into the game uh, do some presets for your villagers and look how everything works out it's a great game and I can't wait for the finished version of it. Oh, where, where it ended. And, and if we maybe get a, a multiplayer <laughs> PvP version of it, <laughs> maybe one day. Okay, okay. Thanks for watching. Hope I see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.